What's going on everyone? Alex De Silva, happy as Larry Group. I hope you are well. And welcome to another daily dose of happiness. Welcome to the start of another week. We have another week ahead of us. What are you going to do? What are your plans? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share for more videos, more updates and just to connect. This is what it's all about, us connecting with each other every single day. Today, I want to talk about why is love so important, especially in times like this. Why is love so important? And I'm not talking about <clears throat> conditional love, which I've talked about in previous videos, where I do something, you do something, you know, give to receive. I'm talking unconditional love. Why is that so, so, so important? Let me explain. As I've been through this journey myself, Lucy, the people we work with, I see it all the time. <clears throat> you know, we all have something we want to work through. We all have something we want to let go of. We all have a passion, a desire, a mission, a purpose. And we put these things unknowingly into jobs, careers, relationships, you know, you name it. And we go out into the world seeking for, for validation, loving, wanting. And often we come back and, and we feel sore and sad and low, depressed anxious, stressed, fearful, resentful, angry. And we wonder why, you know, we, we never feel that love that we all seek, the love that we all want unconditionally. So why is it so important? In meditation this morning, it came to me, you know, why it's so important for us to, to go through these healing processes, to, to heal ourselves from our past, our lineage, you know, the, the conditions that have been passed down to us through generations and generations and generations. You know, we carry the things that have been passed down to us and we carry this onto our newborns, onto our children and then their children and their children's children. So this continues from generation to generation to generation. And the reason why we, we must stop and we must break that lineage and heal ourselves and, and connect with who we truly, truly are. And in order for us to do that, you know, we have to go through these processes of understanding what's going on, what needs to change. We have to go into a process of going and asking for help. To, to for somebody that can help us to remove those blockages, the traumas, whatever it may be. We have to take these steps. And as we embark on this healing journey, we then start to self-discover. I've said this time and time and time again. The answers you are looking for are not out there. They are in here. Everything you need in your life, I promise you, everything you need, everything you want, all your desires, your dreams, everything is within you. The healing power, your immunity, your energy, your, your strength, your courage, everything that you are is inside you. And once you start to find that, slowly you go through this journey and you find love. And when you do, is something that just, it wakes you up. And it's so important when that starts to happen because you're then ready to give. And what we're here to do is once we heal ourselves and it's a continuous journey, our abundance cup, our unconditional love cup starts to overflow. <laughs> and then you're filled with so much of it, you just naturally want to give it away. And a lot of us give it away where we don't have nothing to give. And then we wonder why we're so depleted. We wonder why we're so sore. We wonder why, you know, nobody's giving it back to us because the people you're giving it to are just takers. They're here to take and they're here to leave. And that's it. They have no interest in giving that back. And 
not to say that anybody's right or wrong in what they're doing it's just the processes that we're going through it's the journeys that we go through now it is within our power to take that power back to take that strength to go through our healing process and once you start to go through this process you're energy field your everything about you your aura how you present yourself changes and people talk about the law of attraction or karma people seem to think that karma is a negative thing it's not karma is both karma is like the law of attraction everything you put out you get back in so by getting yourself into a place of love unconditional love for self you automatically then give that out to others and once you start to do that you create this chain this chain unbreakable chain with yourself nothing can tear that away if you continue doing the work if you continue working on yourself whether you pray or whether you don't whether you speak to your guides a higher power or the energy fields in the world speak to them ask them to to bring you positive energy and abundance and they will and once you start to connect with that energy and that flow you start to to build your immune system your energy your mind your body your spirit starts to change and once that starts to happen then you form this unbreakable chain within yourself that unconditional love and strength that you have within you and then what you are then able to do people who are willing to go through the journey with you who are in the same place and they want to change they are the ones who you attract and they are the ones who will become that next chain and the next chain and the next chain and the next chain and if you think as we link to to others as we share unconditional love with each other we start to form a net an unconditional net of love security energy abundance and that's what we need in the world today that's what we need right now with each other not this broken chains where we're separate from each other that's not how we are meant to be as human beings we're meant to connect on the deepest level i've been on this journey for years now and in the last year just going through this healing process healing process and the people that we've met i've connected with them and we've created this chain of unconditional love of people who support each other on their journeys their successes we help each other and we bring each other up not tear each other down and there's no you do this for me and I do that for you. I did this for you, you didn't do it for me. And that's what needs to change. That's why I love it's so important because it encompasses everything that we always wanted. Everything that our body, our heart, mind, body, spirit, everything that we desire. So I wanted to share that with you today, to go out there as you start your week, you start your day, or even if you're in the afternoon or you're in the evening, go to bed, wake up, if you're through your day, start to connect with that heart center, connect with that thing that pumps life in you and start to ask for guidance in how you can become the best version of you so you can pass that on you can break that lineage of pain suffering conditioning that has served us no purpose whatsoever things that are currently tearing us apart what we need to do right now is to move away from fear and to start connecting again with love and when we do that's when things really start to change. I have seen it time and time and time again. People who are thriving, people who are just growing and lifting more and more and more. And there are more and more people now waking up to the fact that we are more, we deserve more. So I want you to do exactly the same because you deserve it. I say this all the time because it is true but you need to find that within yourself you need to fight through that fear do the right thing and ask for help if you need to if you don't even know what needs changing but you know something does then just go and speak to someone go and reach out speak to the right people the people who are already in that journey the people who are already in front of you 
They're not in front of you because they are competing. They're in front of you because they're going to reach out and help you to get together, to come with them. Reach out to those people. Do not reach out to the ones that laugh at you, tell you that you're not good enough, tell you to stop being silly, man up, shut up, stop being fussy, stop being a drama queen. That's not the energy you want in your life. That's not what you deserve. You deserve more. You deserve abundance, love unconditionally. Have an amazing day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. And as always, be great, be fantastic, and be absolutely phenomenal today. That's what you deserve every single day. And I hope you achieve that. I really hope you do. And I will see you again very soon. Take care.